Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Ripple has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. If we look at the hourly time frame for Ripple, the price went up only slightly with around 0.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 47.0 cents. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 50 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 46.7 cents. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very high which means that the price is overbought and a trend change or at least consolidation for some time is to be expected. The K line is below the D line, which means that there has been a downward shift in the trend. Looking at the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 20 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 46.6 cents it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 47.8 cents could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. For longer price development, the daily time frame should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 44.5 cents it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 47.7 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Looking at the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. See you next